Her parents initially wanted her to study medicine or information technology, but Hanan Buhari opted for photography instead and has sharpened her skills enough for her to put together this exhibition which she uses to tell the story of a land she calls home. <laughs> Security operatives dot the Thought Pyramid Gallery in the nation's capital, Abuja. Little wonder, considering the person who they have all gathered here for is a member of Nigeria's first family. Hanan is the youngest daughter of President Muhammadu Buhari and from a tender age, she had a knack for images. The right motivation and encouragement birthed her photo exhibition titled Vangi, which means innovation in Fulani and Hanan, which has attracted the crowd in this hall. Cameras click as journalists catch a sight of the First Lady Aisha Buhari, here to support her daughter. She is among the distinguished guests listening with rapt attention as the curator, Professor Jerry Buhari, talks about the importance of allowing children have a voice and the rewards evident in this show. Many of us have ruined our children by forcing them to read what they don't want to read. This is one of the reasons why in the university like Amadou Bele University where I've been teaching for 34 years, we have students who are on drugs. They are frustrated, they can't do what the parents want them to do and so they find way of escape. What I found in her is somebody that is young that is able to marry expectation, tradition, and modernity. There should be no limitation of any career to any gender. You can find that uh, today we have female pilot, female uh, mechanics, female engineer in so many fields. So this is uh, very, very encouraging that uh, parents should learn from this and parents should take a lesson from this. There should be no selection and as to what field a child should be. I started getting inspired when I was studying media and I saw the different works and different moments that people could capture with photography. I also wanted to take my part to also show people the other side of Nigeria that people don't see. When I take my work back to uni, they don't always see it. So my work is unique, it stands out, it has a different definition and it has a different style. So I'm mostly inspired because I know my work would be unique, it would stand out and it would send different messages to different people around the world. Through this exhibition, Hanan marries expectations, tradition with contemporary lifestyle, seen in images which capture the beauty of her Fulani background and the curator helps the audience to understand that a second coming will make them bond with the works on display. The best time to enjoy an art exhibition is to come back quietly alone and engage the work. In art, we say that an artist creates a work. Once the work assumes a life of its own, it becomes independent of the artist. That is why a photograph like the young Fulani uh, young man with the yellow shirt and a, uh, and a jacket, a rain jacket, can speak to all of us. What's different about a young lady with a camera? It's all about perspective. This particular exhibition is a game changer. Game changer in the sense that um, it's going to help to change the perception of our people towards the creative industry. It's a really beautiful picture, but I love the determination in our eyes. I think, I think that's what I see in the Nigerian woman right nowadays. We're very determined. We know where we want to go. And she looks like someone that's ready to go there. And I like that. For instance, this series shows a Fulani herdsman and his calf. Lately, they've been in the news for the wrong reasons. But this image reveals something distinct. Some of the works that you see there tend to address this conversation. I mean, for example, there's one in which there is a series that she took of a young shepherd leading a calf. Obviously, if you are familiar with the Ruga, that calf had had to stay back so that the mother can go and feed and have enough milk to breastfeed the calf. You can see the sense of anxiety 
in the calf. And so the shepherd had to assure the calf that mommy is coming back. It's great when you even see the pictures, the captions, you will say that you say the creativity in it, uh, preservative of culture. When you see the pictures of the, the designs of the, the pre-independence, you'll be able to understand that, no, this is somebody that has something to offer to preserve the culture of the country and also to promote the unity, the oneness of the country. It's seen in most of the pictures. You will see where they showed you the activists in the Pepe, activists in the, uh, the Periancus. You will see the hawks, how it's been dressed, and you look around, you will see some of the calf shears. They are artificial, partial, things that you see that it is uh, born out of creativity. Then the story about the Fulani life continues in 20 other images, some showing the things they love, like horse racing, the way they dress, the food, amongst other things that define them as a people. Art enthusiasts are wowed at the creativity exhibited as Hanan relates with her immediate environment. One thing I know is that art is a great boundary breaker. It, it breaks the glass ceilings and it, it, um, it's one way, it's one form that questions stereotypes. You know, I believe that this is 2017, you know, things are beginning to change. And I like the fact that when we start seeing that change, we're putting it on platforms so that people can aspire to those examples. While for others, the mere fact that the first family allowed their daughter walk this path is a lesson worth emulating, there is a wake-up call for parents, especially from the North, to give the girl child an opportunity to dream and follow her heart. Looking at her from the first family of this nation, it's rare to find uh, a parent, you know, allowing their children to, to go into photography or to go into uh, artworks like this. This is a great lesson to all families, to parents, to allow their kids choose what is in them. Because you can only give what you have. You can't give what you don't have. This innovation by Hanan is more than an exhibition. It's a testament to what anyone with talent can achieve with the right guidance. I would like to let um, the elites and the young people in Nigeria that they do have a chance. They can do whatever they want to do, be it medicine, be it politics, be it art. You should always stand for yourself and you should let your parents know what you love to do. The Nigerian photographer, the Nigerian young photographer, we found, they found their voice, we found our voices. So you're going to see more and more and more expressions of what's to come. This is an exposure that is given unto people that from whatever you think is nothing, you can bring something out of it. And then you can project the image or what you want for the future of, of your child true photography and want you to give them a broader mind that whatever they want to achieve they will achieve it through dedication and hard work she has youth and passion on her side as there's lots to learn as she journeys deeper into the world of images Parents must allow their children to have their own voices and encourage them. I keep talking about encouragement. It's very important to encourage them to express themselves creatively. Oh shit, oh day, pray them niggas go away. Oh, we sell the clowns around, it look like circus show. Literature, 
is in many ways like faith. It's a leap of imagination.